The Amanita family uh, encompasses some of the most delicious mushrooms, uh, including the Amanita Jacksoni, the uh, Spring Amanita, um, Kokra. There's several others that are uh, absolutely delicious. Um, but it also encompasses some of the most dangerous mushrooms, like the Death Cap and uh, the Destroying Angel. And those are two, uh, two of the most common mushrooms that kill people every year. Um, usually for misidentification, so if you're a new forager, I would stay away from any mushrooms that come out of a, an egg sac or a vulva. Um, these are all Amanitas. The whole family of Amanita comes from eggs. Um, when you find them in the wild, there's some distinguishing features. Um, basically, uh, that's a young specimen there. We'll grab one of these bigger ones here. So, uh, you can see that they have a very nice yellow, sort of, um, almost wavy on the outside, sort of yellowish, kind of a deep orange, uh, sort of striation down the stipe. They're also hollow. So you can snap them open and you can see on the inside it's it's hollow but with uh, like a slight sort of uh, fuzziness in the middle. So it's kind of hard to see in that. And they come out of an egg-like sac. So the other distinguishing feature is that they have uh, detached gills. It's also not a good example there. Let's see here. So the gills are not attached to the stipe. Um, you also see a bit of the uh, the veil here be left on top of the stipe. And uh, personally I like to only harvest uh, tight caps like this, but uh, there are some, uh, the other, one of the other features is that you won't see any of the reminis uh, reminiscent veil on top of the, uh, on top of the cap. So there won't be any little white flecks, which is often confused with uh, um, Amanita muscaria, which is uh, a slightly hallucinogenic, but also a potentially dangerous mushroom. Um, I would stay away from those as well. Um, but these are a really tasty mushroom. They taste kind of cheesy, very, very nice in, uh, in, in pretty much any dish. <clears throat> They're very versatile. And if you see here, there's actually quite a few of them. It's a pretty short window for uh, Amanita Jacksoni. So when they are out, I tend to go nuts with them. And you can see, sometimes you can find some really good patches. Here's a bunch down here. Some really nice ones. This one's really big. That's a nice one. Oh, I'm actually going to keep this one. It's perfect. Sorry, slug. That's a big, meaty one. Uh, I'm very familiar with these mushrooms and very comfortable with them. But uh, if you're new to, new to picking, I, I seriously uh, recommend staying away from from this entire uh, family of mushrooms. Let's see here. Oh, it's just a mother load of Amanita Jacksoni. And right next to these, we've got some lobsters. Perfect shape. Um, Amanita Jacksoni is somewhat of a dangerous mushroom to pick. There's a couple of look-alikes. So if you want to harvest Amanita Jacksoni and keep the uh, egg sac on the bottom, what you're going to do is pull away all the leaves, grab it around the base, and just gently pull straight up. And you'll get the egg sac and everything in one shot. You can definitely move it a little bit like that, and you get the perfect specimen every time. I really like to find the small little little guys here, like these. these. It's not worth harvesting ones like this. I mean, uh, the Amanita Jacksoni tend to actually keep a really nice shape, and even if they do get, uh, the, the slugs tend to like them quite a bit. But uh, aside from the slug damage, you can eat these full-grown ones with ease. You can hear that snap. And my favorite ones to harvest are these beautiful, 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 Perfect little buttons. So we'll just give that a little straight pull up. And you've got the perfect mushroom. Now, interestingly enough, if you harvest little guys like these and you actually take them home <clears throat> and put them in an aquarium or an area that has uh, increased humidity, Unlike most other mushrooms, after you harvest them, they stop growing. The Amanita family will actually continue to grow. 
The uh, vulva on the bottom maintains the humidity. You'll often find them growing in sort of uh, like rings, like fairy rings. Um, let's see, here's a whole bunch. And uh, when you go to harvest your, uh, your Caesar's Amanita, like I said, I like to harvest these little ones. Basically, you just stick a finger down underneath the egg and pry it up, and you get a perfect egg every time. Very simple. Beautiful. Now, uh, these two here, I can take home and continue to grow them. You can see there's a whole whack down here. This is a beautiful one. So the, the vulva on the bottom is very fragile, so basically you just get your finger down, down the side, and pry up a little bit. They're not connected like most my, my corzeal mushrooms, they'll just pull out. There's a very small taproot at the bottom of it, you can see. So once you loosen that up, you'll have the perfect specimen. And you can see actually there's quite a few out today. Amanita jacksoni are oak and, uh, and beach lovers, so you'll find them growing around oak and beach. They tend to come out in the late summer. Uh, in my area, near the end of July, when the uh, Horn of Plenty and the, or just before the Horn of Plenty and uh, Cinnabar chanterelles start, but uh, during the same season as the Golden Chanterelles. So I also use them as a indicator that Golden Chanterelles are out. There's a nice one. Woohoo! Another beautiful one. Oh, so beautiful. They also have these little lines, these little reticulations. Very small, very subtle, but you can see them on camera. That's also a distinguishing feature as, as they get older and they get a, a swelled cap, uh, you can see these lines very distinctly. So you can see these very small striations. Here we get a nice couple of clusters of beautiful Aminita ja Jacksoni. And I'm just going to harvest these little buttons here. One. Two, three, four. This one's like completely contained. So this one I'm going to take home and I'll do a time lapse for you guys so you can actually watch it grow and turn into those. Beautiful, I love it. Yeah!